to the Dragonfly Daily. I'm Easton and here with me is Brayden. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the moment of silence. Now please be seated. Today, today for lunch we'll be having grilled cheese sandwich or turkey and cheese croissant with beef vegetable soup, goldfish crackers, steamed broccoli, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Today's weather for Lancaster, South Carolina should be a high of 73 degrees, a 3% chance of rain. This evening the sun will set at 810 and expect a low tonight of 46 degrees. Happy birthday to Justice in Miss Woods' class and to Joe in Miss Bradley's class. Do your best on state testing today. Let's show the world how awesome we are at MGE. And now for the fun t fact of the day. Did you know that today is Hooray for, Button for Buttons Day? Hooray for Buttons Day is an annual event observed on May 9th at a button is small knob or disc secured to an article, mostly clothing and used as a fastener, fastener with, with a buttonhole or loop. It also refers to circular mental or plastic badge that bears a stamp, a stamp design or printed slogan. slogan. For example, a campaign. Go camping campaign. campaign button, the oldest known button dates back to 500 BC, 5000 BC in the Indus River Valley and was made f from a curved shell. It was not until the 13th century that buttons served as banisters and the, along with vinyls, first appeared in Germany before spreading throughout Europe. Please join us in the MGE Creed. Today is a new day, a new gift. I can choose to use it or throw it away. All I do today will affect tomorrow, and I cannot blame anyone but myself if I do not succeed. Today I will rise up by showing respect, modeling integrity, exhibiting self-control to achieve excellence. I will be understanding and I will persevere. Today I will rise up with the dragonflies. Thank you for joining us on the Dragonfly Daily. I hope you have a wonderful day. Rise up, Dragonflies! What's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt, and what do you take someone to describe you as? By um, doing cool stuff. Cool stuff? Yeah. What's your name? Logan. Logan. And what do you think someone would describe you as? A nice person. A nice person. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb. And what do you think someone would describe you as? Funny. What's your name? Mahogany. Mahogany. And what do you think someone would describe you as? Pretty. What's your name? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. And what do you think someone would describe you as? Beautiful. Miss Ballard. Ballard. And what do you think someone would describe you as? Um, outgoing and adventurous. <laughs> All right, it's our big day today, our first day of state testing for third, fourth, and fifth grade. 
um, kindergarten, pre-K, first grade, and second grade, you guys will have a different day as well. Um, hopefully, your teachers have already kind of talked to you about the changes that we're going to have in our schedule um, during these days of state testing for our big kids. Um, if not, teachers, please take this time um, after announcements to kind of talk about that and talk about the changes and the differences that we'll have on those days, um, just so your students are prepared. Um, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Again, today is reading, okay? Let's talk about some of the testing tips that we've discussed all together, and I know that your teachers have prepared you for already. Remember, there are gonna be long passages, okay? Remember to take your time, read the questions first before you read the passage, so you really know what you're looking for as you read the passage. Um, also, look back in your text. The answers are always in your text. Just remember that, okay? Look back in your text. Cross out any obvious wrong answers. Again, that's a test taking skill that you guys use on probably, it should be for every test. Um, cross out any obvious wrong answers. Anything you know just doesn't make any sense. You can go ahead and cross those off. And then flag, remember the flag tool that we talked about and um, I showed you guys that are on every, it's on every portion of the test. Use your flag tool when you need it. If you've tried and tried and you've used all the strategies and you can't quite figure it out, flag the question so you can come back to it. Because if you keep kind of spending too much time on it, you're just going to get really frustrated. And then, of course, the last strategy is just to take your best guess. If you've tried all of that and you still cannot figure out the answer, just take your best guess and move on. Because if you wear yourself out on one question, you're going to be really frustrated and you're going to get tired. Um, we don't want that to happen because we want to see you guys do your best. Good luck. Take your time. Take deep breaths. We know you guys will do an awesome job. Thank you.